Welcome back folks. All right, so today I'm uh, working on demolishing this uh, roof over the carport and uh, old deck here. And uh, so one of the reasons that I uh, wanted to get rid of this is because it's so low on the outside here. I mean, I can, I can, I'm short and I can reach up and I can, you know, I can put my hand up here and go over the top of it easily. So uh, the new roof is gonna come uh, straight out and then we're going to put a, a pitched gable over the top uh, carport is going to go away uh, we're going to get rid of that so um, you can see already how much brighter it is so uh, you know when we get rid of this uh, carport roof over here it's going to really brighten this up in here and uh, open it up and should make it quite a bit nicer so just uh, show you how this was built here um, we've got two by six joists running straight off of the roof there and uh, they've uh, strapped it with one by fours going across and then what they did was they uh, they nailed the the metal to the uh, one by fours underneath and you can see there's no no paper or anything underneath there they just it's a really uh, cheap job and what they used to uh, to attach this roof was these um, galvanized nails it's a spiral nail with a little rubber gasket on it here and you can see that little ru rubber gasket so that rubber all of these little rubber gaskets are just like hard as a rock and so this roof has been leaking you can see the the stains over there um, you know where the water's been running down um, that two by six along the outside there is basically all rotten um, up in here where the roof m attaches to the uh, mobile home you can see how stained these are so that's all been been uh, you know, uh, leaking and you can see that two by six uh, joist across there has just been lagged onto the mobile home and uh, that's not code in our area um, these roofs on these uh, additions and decks and things have to be self-supporting which means you know there has to be a, a little beam in there and there's got to be posts that come down and then bear onto uh, you know a beam underneath here and which transfers a load down to the ground so none of this structure can bear weight on the old uh, existing unit so uh, part of the, with the plan we're taking all of this off because this is none of this is uh, treated material uh, I don't like the configuration of this you can see how it's got a bottleneck here at the front door and uh, I don't like that so another thing I don't like is when you drive up you look right up onto the deck uh, into the stairs so you know there's there's virtually no curb appeal here at all um, you know and they've got this concrete here so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this concrete out and we're going to landscape this and then the new deck is going to come straight out here with a railing and no stairs there and then we're going to shorten up this deck it's this is a really big deck it's bigger than it needs to be so we're going to go uh, with an 18 foot deck and scale it down about two-thirds the size of what it is now and then we're going to have the steps coming down here into uh, a landing which we're going to do with those paver stones that, that i showed you back there that i've that i've saved from the that back area and so the way it will work then is you will come up to the home like this and park your car and then you'll drop you'll walk through on uh, this new landing with the pavers uh, up to a set of stairs here which will go up onto the deck and then you go over to the to the uh, front door over there so yeah this is uh all going and i'll just again i'll take you uh, up here just show you this so that we'll get rid of this little bottleneck here so the you know it'll come straight out and that way, uh, you know, gives you a nice entrance to get in there. We're going to do a nice uh, surround around the door, and so as part of that support structure, uh, where the uh, doors are, we put in beams 
to uh, as part of the uh, door surround so you just it hides the beams and it gives it a really uh, kind of a neat looking door surround so I'm saving these uh, galvanized roof panels so you here you can see I've got them piled up I've just given them a hose off here to get the dirt off but this is what these uh, panels look like when they come off and so they're t uh, 10 feet long and I think about 30 inches wide something like that and then they just overlap and so you can see what they've done there is where they overlap they put uh, that black plastic cement in there and but it, it was all dried out you know it's uh, plastic cement is not a, uh, a good good way to uh, seal things up on a roof all right so let's stick you up top here I'll show you uh, how this is looking up here Okay, and so there you can see where they, they ran that metal and they tucked it up underneath that metal from the roof. And they had just totally filled that with that black plastic cement. So, you know, not a, not a great way to do things. Uh, that 1x4 that's along the roof there is basically all rotten. So I'm making progress. I'm going to get the uh, rest of the metal off there and... Uh, and then I'll start taking the joists off on that side and then work my way back up to here. Okay, folks, stay tuned. All right, folks, so we uh, got this uh, deck all off, or the roof all off this deck and the carport. And got things all cleaned up. And uh, what a difference this makes in how it feels in here. We just lost that, you know, overbearing kind of lid that was on here, and uh, it's open and bright now. So, as I previously said, this this pad's gonna come out of here now, and uh, no carport, and uh, the new deck's gonna be smaller than this, and our front steps will go up over here. But uh, yeah, this is how it's uh, starting to clean up here. And I'll just take you inside. So uh, these rafters were two by six, and uh, they were t uh, 14s and 12s. And so I have I have salvaged those. And so I've got this pile of lumber here. This is lumber that I've salvaged off of that uh, deck and uh, carport roof. And so I've got some 1x4 there, which I'm going to be uh, using when I install the skirting. And then you can see there I've got uh, some 14 foot 2x6s and some 12 foot 2x6s. Now I don't normally, uh, I don't normally salvage material like this, but uh, this, right now, um, if you're following the prices of material lumber, uh, it's really expensive. Lumber is uh, at a, as a commodity. And so, you know, the price fluctuates uh, with, the, with the supply and demand of it. And uh, each one of these boards, these two by sixes is worth about $30, uh, $30 Canadian. Um, so this little pile of lumber right here, if I was to go down today and buy this at Home Depot, it would cost me over $1,000, just over $1,000 for this little pile of lumber. So, um, like I said, I don't normally, you know, use old lumber, but I'm going to. This lumber will get used in the in the roof of the new deck. So once I build that that new roof over the deck here, then uh, that's where that's going to get used. Um, also, just sort of as a, uh, a point of reference here for, for materials, um, just just how crazy it is. This is June 2021. Um, and it, and I think this is probably happening all over the all over the place like all over North America. We're in Canada But uh, for the when I do the roof this has a metal roof and I'm gonna be putting an asphalt roof on it And so I, I'm gonna put a layer of 716 OSB over top of the metal and then I'm gonna put my shingles on top of that and uh, Then there's gonna be a, a, a new roof uh, You know over this uh, New deck and then at the back here, um, once we get rid of that addition that I showed you before, 
out this back door here I'm going to build a little a little deck and it's going to have a, a roof on it as well and then that's going to be an area that's close to the kitchen here and that will be where uh, I'll set a barbecue and uh, things like that uh, you know just kind of a little place to do some outdoor cooking there that's you know handy off of the kitchen it's right off the kitchen here but uh, so anyways uh, there's going to be a little bit of uh, new roof on top of the of the old roof and uh, that OSB board I'm going to need about 40 sheets of it um, right now it, it, it's $65 a sheet at uh, Home Depot plus 12% tax so you know we're well over $70 a sheet for for one of those so you take times 40 sheets um, you know it adds up you know you're at uh, almost $3,000 just for uh, uh, you know the OSB board for for the roof here but uh, I was lucky, I, I was able to buy some this week. I've got my 40 sheets bought and stored away and I got it at $40 a sheet all in. And uh, that's basically the same price that I paid for the last roof that I did, which was uh, in the summer of 2019, so two years ago. So I, I really lucked out with that. Uh, no, no, there's no sign of uh, prices coming down. Uh, you know, they may, they may, uh, even out who knows it's hard to say um you know i've been in this for over 40 years it's not the first time we've seen this happen but like you know for example like this this sheet is of paneling right here that's three h uh, i've got this over that window there this four by eight sheet of three eight osb uh is sixty dollars um yeah sixty dollars hanging there it's just ridiculous um i showed you these doors that we're using these entrance doors so I've got two the same, the back door and I've got the front door. So right now at Home Depot, um, if you are thinking about uh, changing your outside doors, uh, at least here in British Columbia, Canada, uh, they have what's called a special buy. And uh, on a special buy, Home Depot brings these doors in and uh, puts them on, uh, you know, on a, on a really good price. So. Uh, this this unit that you see here is uh, three hundred and ninety nine dollars Canadian, um, you know. So that's going to be probably around three hundred dollars American for you you American folks. But uh, you know you can see it's a, it's a leaded glass door. It's a three quarter what we call a three quarter light, um, and it's got uh, you know this ribbed glass in here. It's all obscure, and you know the the black leaded glass. Um, you know these are for two by four. They also have them for two by six. There's the price right there. Uh, $3.99, that's Canadian. So, uh, you know, if you're looking to do a door project, uh, exterior door, uh, that's a good, good time to get them. And, and these are made by, uh, these, these are made by Masonite. And so this, this is my fourth mobile home project. And, uh, I always get these doors on a special buy. Uh, you know, if you were to go in and, and get these doors, you know out of outside of a special buy you know you'd be you'd be looking at uh you know 12 13 14 1500 dollars for these doors um so it's just a it's a really cool thing that home depot does in conjunction with masonite that that's the company that makes them and uh yeah so that's how you can do this and save some money so you know right there i've got you know a thousand dollars sitting there and i you know saved a lot of money on my doors um, outside here, I've, uh, I should show you this pile of bricks. I think I should, maybe I showed you this already, but you know, I've got a thousand bricks piled up here and those are a bucket piece. You know, those are reclaimed. So, um, this stuff's a gar, this is garbage here. And this, uh, galvanized sheeting is what I took off of the, the, uh, the roof over the carport and, uh, and the deck. And so I'm going to try and sell this, um, you know, and see if I can maybe sell it. You know, people could use it maybe for backsplash in the kitchen if you like that industrial look or feature wall or something like that. Uh, here in BC, we have to uh, organize our demolition materials. And so here I'm collecting metal. Asphalt shingles, shingles have to uh, go somewhere else. Um, we can't just throw everything in into a dumpster and send it. It has to be sorted. And so next week, I think probably towards the end of the week, I'll be getting a dumpster in and I'm going to start tearing down the rest of this deck. 
and uh, this little building here. Um, so to finish off the day here, I'm going to be taking the siding off, but uh, yeah, getting into the major demolition here now in the next in the next week. All right, folks. So that's it for this one. The roof's down. There's a major major bit of uh, demolition that we did here, and uh, so. I say it really changes the look and the feel in here and uh, I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting this whole deck off so uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye bye